This is my outside outlet. And as you can see, the bottom of the outlet is all burnt up. In addition, the weatherproof cover is also broken. Stick around and in this video, I'll show you how to replace outside outlet with a new weatherproof cover. Step one, my outlet ground was blocked. So I decided to use this adapter and test the outlet. As you can see, it lights up. So that means there's power coming to the outlet. I made sure to find the outside breaker and turn it off. Then I tested the bottom outlet as well to ensure that both of them had no power. Step two, you can buy these weatherproof covers at your local hardware store. I'll have the links in the comments below as well. And I also will need a new outlet. Step three, take a drill with a Phillips head bit and remove the screw. And you should be able to pull off the old cover. Step four, use your hand and remove the old foam from the wall. Step five, use the drill again and remove the outlet from the wall. Then I used my handy wire strippers and cut off the wires from the old outlet because it was easier that way compared to trying to disconnect them from the old outlet. I also used these wire strips and stripped the cut wires and ended up sanding the ground wire as well to get a better connection. By the way, these wire strippers are a must have for every DIY toolbox. Step six, I took the new outlet and the ground wire and wired it to the green screw. Then I took the white wire and wired it to the silver screw. Finally, I took the black wire and wired it to the brass looking screw. Next, I decided to vacuum all the debris in the junction box before installing the new outlet. I used the Phillips head screwdriver and installed the new outlet. Then I used the putty knife to scrape off the old foam remains. Next, I opened the new weatherproof cover. These typically come with all the necessary plates for the different configuration of the outlets. I'll be using the rectangular one, so I made sure to find it and install it inside the cover first. Then I placed the cover over my outlet and I realized that I need to use the outlet screws in order to secure the cover. So I removed the outlet with the screws and installed them together. And I made sure that the screws were nice and tight. Then I turned the circuit breaker back on, plugged in my outlet tester and it worked perfectly. And for that reason, you should smash that like button. If you want to learn how I installed this outlet, check out this video next.